So we're adding uh, four more wires onto our antenna here. So we should have approximately uh, 350, six, about 375 feet of wire all together now. We got six wires on here. Let's see how this uh, turns out. I'm threading them through these wooden sticks now. I gotta strip the ends, solder them all together. Get the lengths nice and equal. All right. Okay, finally, after many hours, we finally got it up there. I hope you could see it. Six wires now. They're in there somewhere. And let's see, here's our pole coming down. Uh, our antenna wire goes way up there. Let's see, this is it here. I gotta connect it to that black one right there. One second. I'm sorry about this. Okay, we attach them. Now, this is going into my lab here. Okay, there's our circuit hanging there, with our output and our voltage meter, our LEDs down there, not connected yet, there's our current meter, seven volts, I think that's what I was getting about before, now, Let's uh, let's turn this on. Micro amps. Let's connect these leads right here. Get on there. There we go. Okay. They look good. Hmm. That's better. Uh, I checked it today, earlier, before I took the old antenna down with three wires, and it was around uh, 80 microamps. Uh, now we're at close to 115 you could say um, let's see it's a hot hot sunny day today and if I was getting 80 microamps today what is it 10 20 35 I gained about 35 microamps let's see when it's uh, cloudy and looks stormy overcast or even raining then I get about a hundred microamps. So if it was raining and everything right now, I'd expect to have around 135 microamps. Hmm. So we did get more current. <laughs> Maybe we could charge a battery faster now. Two point, yeah, a little voltage is a little more too. With the load now. Is it good? There they are.